We all know that real estate investing can be a profitable business venture, but here's the catch. It can also come with its fair share of tax liabilities. Just think about it. Home values have been increasing every year, which plays a major role in how much we fork out in property taxes as real estate investors. Heck, just recently in Texas alone, homeowners paid the most amount in property taxes because home values increased up over 23% year to year. Fortunately for us, there are legal ways to avoid paying taxes as a real estate investor. This can range from little-known tax deductions to expert tips for structuring your investments in a more tax-efficient manner. Trust me, this video has everything you need to know to keep more money in your pocket. Because, let's be honest, who wants to pay Uncle Sam more than what he's already taking away from us? Just keep watching until the end because you'll discover the top legal strategies for real estate investors to minimize your tax liability and maximize your profits. So without wasting time, here are 7 legal ways to avoid paying taxes as a real estate investor. Number 7. Keep records on home renovations and improvements To give you an idea, this refers to any upgrades, renovations, or additions made to your property that increase its value or extend its useful life. Examples of capital improvements include adding a new room, replacing the roof, or upgrading the electrical system. By keeping track of all your capital improvements, you can reduce your taxable gain when you sell the property. This is because the cost of the improvements can be added to your original purchase price, thereby increasing your basis in the property. The higher your basis, the lower your taxable gain. Here's a tip. Keep accurate records of your capital improvements, including receipts, invoices, and contracts. You should also document the date, cost, and nature of the improvements. These records will come in handy when it's time to sell the property and file your taxes. Now, if you've discovered this channel for the first time, we are dedicated to giving you all the tips you need as a real estate investor. So make sure to subscribe to Life of a Landlord and hit that notification bell. Number 6. Utilize 1031 Exchanges Looking for ways to legally avoid paying taxes on your property sales? You might want to consider using a 1031 exchange. A 1031 exchange is a tax strategy that allows you to sell one investment property and buy another one of similar value without paying any capital gains tax on the sale. This way, you can defer your tax liability and reinvest your profits into a new property. How does a 1031 exchange work? I thought you'd never ask. According to Section 1031 of the Internal Revenue Code or IRC, you need to follow certain rules to qualify for this tax break. First and foremost, you need to find a qualified intermediary who will hold the proceeds from your sale in escrow until you buy the new property. You cannot touch or receive the money yourself or else you will trigger a taxable event. Second, you need to identify the replacement property within 45 days of selling the original one and close the deal within 180 days. Third, you need to make sure that the properties involved are like-kind, meaning they are both used for business or investment purposes and have similar characteristics. For example, you can exchange an apartment building for a ranch, but not for a personal residence or a car. By using a 1031 exchange, you can avoid paying taxes on your property sales and grow your wealth faster. You can also repeat this process as many times as you want, as long as you meet the requirements of the IRC. However, keep in mind that this is not a permanent tax avoidance strategy. You will eventually have to pay taxes when you sell your final property for cash or if you violate any of the rules along the way. So, are you tired of paying high taxes on your real estate investments? Keep watching because I'll show you how to legally minimize your tax liability. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for all of our upcoming videos. Number 5. Invest in Opportunity Zones As a real estate investor, you may be familiar with the burden of paying taxes on your investment profits. I know, such a hassle, right? But hey, have you ever heard of Opportunity Zones? Opportunity zones are designated areas that have been identified as a disaster community or distressed by the federal government. Investors who put their money into real estate projects in these areas can receive tax benefits, including deferred or even eliminated capital gain taxes. To take advantage of these tax incentives, investors must invest in opportunity funds, which are investment vehicles that focus on real estate projects within opportunity zones. These funds are typically managed by experienced real estate professionals and offer a diverse range of investment options. Investing in opportunity zones not only provides tax benefits, but it also supports economic development in underserved communities. The investments made by opportunity funds can create jobs, revitalize neighborhoods, and contribute to the overall growth of local economies. Number 4. Use Self-Directed IRA A self-directed IRA allows you to invest in real estate with tax-deferred or tax-free funds. Confused? Well, let me break it out for you. 
A self-directed IRA is different from a traditional IRA in that it allows you to invest in alternative assets such as real estate. With a self-directed IRA, you can purchase rental properties, flip houses, or invest in commercial real estate. The best part is that any profits you make are tax deferred or tax free. Yippee! Amazing, right? To get started with a self-directed IRA, you will need to find a custodian that specializes in these types of accounts. Once you've found a custodian, you can transfer your existing retirement funds into your new account. From there, you can start investing in real estate. Is that it? Pretty much everything about this one. So if you're looking for ways to legally avoid paying taxes as a real estate investor, consider using a self-directed IRA. With this type of account, you can invest in real estate with tax deferred or tax free funds and grow your wealth over time. Number three, hold properties for at least a year. As a real estate investor, one of the key considerations is how to minimize tax liabilities while maximizing returns. This is because if you hold your property for at least a year before selling it, you will qualify for long-term capital gains tax rates, which are lower than short-term capital gains tax rates. Long-term capital gains tax rates are generally more favorable than short-term capital gains tax rates because they are based on your income level and can range from 0% to 20%. Short-term capital gains tax rates are taxed as ordinary income and can be as high as 37%. If you think that's it, hold your horses. Holding a property for a year or longer can also have other advantages. For example, it gives you time to make any necessary improvements to the property and to build equity. It also reduces the transaction costs associated with buying and selling real estate, such as closing costs, real estate agent fees, and transfer taxes. Trust me, if you do this, it can help you build equity in the property and increase its value over time. This can be especially beneficial if you plan to sell the property in the future. Number 2. Move in for 2 years If you live in your investment property for at least 2 years before selling it, you can exclude up to $250,000 or $500,000 if married, filing jointly of capital gains from your taxable income. What? If you think that's not big, I don't know what is. Now, just so you know, this exclusion is available under the primary residence exclusion rule of the IRS. To qualify for this tax benefit, you must have owned and used the property as your primary residence for at least two years out of the five years preceding the sale. What does this mean? Simple. You must live in the property for two years, not just own it. Remember also that the exclusion only applies to capital gains, not to any other income generated from the property. To be honest, moving into your investment property has the added benefit of allowing you to improve the property while you live there, which can increase its value and make it more attractive to potential buyers. This can help you maximize your profits when you eventually sell the property. Number 1. Sell assets when your income falls Capital gain tax is the tax imposed on the profit earned from selling a property or investment. Generally, the higher your income, the higher your tax rate. However, the tax code allows for lower tax rates on capital gains for taxpayers with lower incomes. If you're a real estate investor and your income falls below the thresholds set by the tax code, you may be eligible for lower capital gains tax rates. This can be an effective way to legally reduce your tax burden and keep more of your profits. Note that this strategy may not be appropriate for all real estate investors, so please, please, please be careful. Selling a property solely for tax reasons may not be the best financial decision, especially if the property is generating a steady stream of income. Here's the bottom line. There are many ways to legally avoid paying taxes as a real estate investor. If you don't want to pay taxes like the others, you can follow all the strategies I've mentioned. But you also need to bear in mind that working with a qualified accountant or financial advisor and staying up to date on the latest tax laws and regulations can ensure that you're making the most of your real estate investments while keeping your tax bill as low as possible. Did I miss any other strategy? I definitely want to know, so please tell us in the comments below and tell us your experience about filing taxes as a real estate investor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. In fact, if you want to know exactly how to become a successful real estate investor, watch this video here where we'll tell you exactly what to do. So click the video on your screen now and we'll see you in the next one.